hello everyone this is your captain speaking so um hello yeah so um welcome to my test page this is basically my figma file where i do a lot of nonsense i post online right so i design everything so um i posted it i think the last design i posted was a landing page design for ready um a Medi data marketplace so uh, i posted the design um on twitter and i've been having um comments and feedback on how i achieved these gif or gif animations right so i'm going to do a very fast video i'm trying to make it less than three minutes and we'll get this done all right so um first step is to have a design file okay then the next step would be to jump to lottiefiles.com lottiefiles.com okay All right, so we let that load lights, wait, scalable animations for your website. Yeah, so I go to discover, I want free animations. I think my internet is awfully slow, so I want free animations. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, just in something. Uh, mm, what do I like? I need something that's not so complex. Oh, let me see. I need something not so complex with not so many colors. Right, because you have to edit the animation to match your I really have to tweak it to match my U values. It sort of um blends in with the design. Right. So I'm looking for something not too complex so I don't have to stress myself. I think my internet is really slow. Let me see if I can switch. Ooh, I think I like this animation. <laughs> oh, I like this plane. Oh, I like this. Let me see. So let's download this. Let's download the document. Let me try the friends. Okay. paid let me just search laziness so let me search for airplane or aeroplane aeroplane okay so uh i want to free so that's the letter free I think this is free. But it has too many colors that I'll have to tweak. Yeah, I think I'll go for this. Okay, yeah. I may want to use this as a loading state for my application, for example. So uh so the first thing I want to do is I want to edit the layer colors. So I'll click on edit layer colors. It's going to open the editor for me. Okay. So say for example, I want to put that in here, right? So I'd want it to match this coming. Let me turn off this layout grid. So Sign. Oh, things are inside. Yeah, turn off the grid. Okay, yeah. so I wanted to match this color scheme, right? So I'll check what's my U value. My U value is one to seven. Okay, so I just create a circle to hold that U value. Okay, so I'm just showing how I do it. So uh, for the background color, okay. So my background color is this. So I'll copy this. Control C, come in here. Control V, paste that color and press Enter. Okay, so next I want to change these blue colors to match that green. So what I'll do first is copy this color, Ctrl C, okay, paste it in here, Ctrl V. 
All right, my U value is 127. That's my U value for that green. So I'll copy this new color, Ctrl C. I'll come in here and I'll Ctrl V that and update. Okay, now I have that green. So same for this, Ctrl C. Come in here, Ctrl V. U value 127. Ctrl C. Come in here and paste update. So now we have that green. So next, this guy, same thing, Ctrl C. Come in here, Ctrl V. Ooh, copy the wrong thing. Did I? Did I? Ctrl C. Come in here, Ctrl V. Okay, I did not. One, two, seven. Ah, so it's a bit dark, but let's see how that would look. So click on this. I don't know what that is for. Ctrl V, update. So that should show. Not showing much, so same Ctrl C, okay. Come in here, Ctrl V, all right. One, two, seven. Have that light green. Problem I might have would be this our light green background, okay. So I'll Ctrl V that and update. So now I have this. So all I have to do now is just download the JSON file, downloaded, right. So, um, next, what I'll do is, um uh, Make sure you have the Lotti file plugin installed, right? So go to the Figma community, search for Lotti files, install this plugin. I'll run Lotti files. Okay. Okay. Then all I have to do is just drag that JSON file into Figma and drop into Lotti. Okay. The background for some weird reason, the background doesn't show. So I'll come in here, copy that background color and paste it in here again. Okay. Uh, maybe I want to make it a bit darker so this shows. Then I click on OK. I'll convert to GIF. Alright, that's converting. Okay, so that's converting. So yeah, so um, ideally you would want to draw out a rectangle, right? So this GIF uh, fills into um, this your rectangle, right? If I click on this big rectangle here and I click on place, right? It's going to fill this entire width and sort of center itself, right? But if you have a rectangle, you have a dimension you want it to fill, it's way better you draw that out, right? Then you just select, right? So for example, let me turn off. Let me remove this GIF and just make it that. And I select this and I do add to Figma. Right? So it occupies that space. Right now, if I go into here, right, I think I have to pr I probably have to reload this. Okay. All right, that's loading. Yeah, I have this. So, uh, I intentionally messed around with the background. So, you should see the importance of always making sure your background has this color, right? So, it sort of blends in. Right? So, your GIF should always have this is your background color, so it blends in, right? So, this GIF you're seeing here, they have this background color, which is why they are blending into the design. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't have a catch for any of my videos, so, see you guys later.